As a little girl, you begin to get inundated by our culture. We have a princess culture for little girls. My name is Debbie and I'm the founder and CEO of Goldie Blocks. Toys are gendered in this certain way to promote different learning and play patterns. I think kids kind of begin to understand that building and science is for boys and decorating and being pretty is for girls. Only 11% of engineers in the U.S. are women, and I want there to be more. And so Goldie Blocks is really exposing girls to engineering at a much younger age. How can I make engineering appeal to girls? Because there were so many options for boys, it really felt like that was the missing gap. Girls really love stories, and that's what gets them to engage. Why not blend the building and spatial skills development with a story? So the toy itself is a series of books starring Goldie, this girl character. Have you met the girl named Goldie Blocks? She likes to think outside the box. Goldie makes stuff and she builds things and she solves problems. So what they're kind of learning is the concept of wheel and axle and a belt drive, but it's introduced in kind of a fun way. The first thing I did was I took it to the New York Toy Fair. There wasn't this spirit of of innovation. And most of the people that I showed it to there kind of whispered this well-known industry secret that construction toys for girls don't sell. And it was tough, and I wanted to give up on it again and again and again. I knew in my heart that parents wanted more for their daughters. I just had to prove it to the rest of the toy world. By the end of the Kickstarter campaign, we had pre-sold about 5,000 Goldie Blocks toys. There were emails flooding in of people who were so inspired by our story. And we ended up selling an additional 20,000 toys on our website. So our little company reached $1 million in revenue in our first two months of launching. We're at Toys R Us in Emeryville, California, and we are here to see Goldie Blocks on the shelves for the very first time. Having Goldie Blocks at Toys R Us is really my dream come true. I've always believed that engineering toys for girls was a mainstream concept, and being in Toys R Us takes it to the masses. It's here. <laughs> I'm going to start crying. I'm so excited. Are you really getting emotional? No, I really am. Um, I'm emotional about it because, I don't know, it really shows that you can do anything if you really believe in it. We have now 40,000 girls playing with Goldie Blocks from around the world. Everything is built by engineers. Women are our largest untapped resource, so this has to happen. It has to happen, and there's no reason why it doesn't, except for these old stereotypes and old ways of thinking that just aren't relevant anymore.